general elections here in Asia this year. The people of Thailand are due to vote on Sunday, the 24th of March. On the 17th of April, the world's most populous Islamic nation, Indonesia, is set to go to the polls. And the world's biggest democracy, India, is expected to hold its election in the month of April and May. With a total of 1.2 billion people eligible to vote across those countries, my next guest says the region is about to get a major economic boost. Joining me now in the studios is uh, no other than Nirgunan Tiru Chelvam from Exotics Capital. Well, Nirgunan, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So, three major elections taking place over the next uh, few months. Will the respective economies really be getting a boost? Well, Rico, there are actually two ways mm -hmm. where there's going to be a boost for consumption. Firstly, during the election campaigns itself, the candidates would be spending on their supporters, they'd be spending on printing, publishing, and that causes an impact on the domestic economy because there's higher consumption of food stuff, much more, uh, much higher levels of printing, uh, higher consumption mm. of other uh, items. But with this election spending in these three major economies, mm. how much of a boost will this give gross domestic product or GDP? It is difficult to immediately quantify the impact on GDP, but what we can quantify is the impact it has had on consumption in previous elections. Mm -hmm. Now, in Thailand, we saw that the upsurge in consumption during the last election campaign amounted to over $2 billion. That in of itself is a boost for consumption in other forms of the economy, in other aspects of the economy. When you say about uh, printing money, the government definitely wants, to, the incumbent wants to retain power. They will basically offer the people uh, subsidies, uh, lower interest rates. Isn't this inflationary, Nirgunan? That leads us to the <laughs> second impact of elections. Beyond the campaign, as you correctly pointed out, we see a fiscal stimulus in many cases. In the mm. case of Thailand, the rice subsidy has been strengthened to buttress consumption in the rural parts of the country. Basically, about 20% of the economy depends on this. That has an impact on liquor consumption, food consumption, and a number of other items. So will this mean then, if uh, prices go up immediately after the elections, the central bank will raise the cost of borrowing or interest rates? That is conceivable, but let's focus on the elections itself. Mm. Now, India is a vast country with 900 million voters. There are as many as 22 officially recognized languages. With this vast election exercise, you see a lot of printing in the local languages and uh, people should focus on the immediate impact of consumption on that economy. All right, it looks like there are plus and minuses with uh, election spending. Thank you so much for joining us from Exotics Capital, Nirgunan Tiro Chelvam.